Topping this morning's heat index, one woman blasting a popular fitness magazine after triumphantly losing 170 plus pounds. She says a magazine made her feel like she should be ashamed of her brand new body. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the story. 29-year-old Brooke Birmingham's 170-pound weight loss was so dramatic, it caught the attention of Shape magazine which wanted to feature her success story. I emailed them back saying that I was interested in doing the interview um, because I love spreading my story and getting it out to people. But when Brooke sent them this after photo of herself in a bikini, loose skin and all, she says Shape asked her to cover up, citing editorial policy. I didn't feel like they were showing me re my body respect. So Brooke refused, saying the photo showed the real side of extreme weight loss and that the challenges don't end after the after photo. People need to see what a body looks like after a massive weight loss. In a statement released to ABC News, Shape magazine says this is a result of a misunderstanding with a freelance writer and the comments made about Shape's editorial policy are absolutely untrue. Shape prides itself on empowering and celebrating women like Brooke. Even natural, gradual weight loss can leave extra skin that in some cases can only be fixed with surgery. While you will be incredibly fit and while you will be so much lighter, you very well might be left with some loose skin. Chris Powell, the host of Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition. This is the turning around point. Offers participants this surgery after meeting a key milestone. This is the feeling of you getting stronger. But also says it's presence should be considered a mark of accomplishment. When we see this excess skin, it really is a beautiful thing. It's a badge of courage and it, it shows how strong that individual is. Brooke, who now works as a Weight Watchers leader in Illinois, says she's excited for bikini season just around the corner with no cover up. That's what this oil all boils down to is just feeling good in your own skin and knowing that you don't have to look like the picture of the model on a magazine. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York. It's kind of like a scar. I'm proud mm -hmm. of my scars. Mm -hmm. They represent mm -hmm. a battle that you faced, good and point. it's a reminder of what you've been through and how you got to where you are today. Feeling good mm -hmm. in your own skin. That's I get what it. it's all about.